What's B2 Cut from in 221 here? And this is now season six. I've done so many COH2 videos. This has been a uh, a great game over the years here since 2013. So uh, I'm playing with Napoleon. This is like uh, Schleuberg, Schleuberg, um outskirts. So I've actually never played on this map. I'm playing with Napoleon, and you can see we're actually going against. Mandalorian, who's actually a viewer of mine and all my friends, so he said, uh, he messaged me and said, what a coincidence. <laughs> we're actually in the same game. So, you know, I might be playing, you might be playing, it might come into a match. So, you never know, right? So, let's talk about the battle plan here. This is kind of a little bit of a weird map. Napoleon's going to hold our southern fuel and victory point. I'm going to be pushing toward the center, and then, and then we're going to allow our opponents to take the north victory point and the north fuel. I will, of course, harass once I get my units positioned, though. And keep my units. Uh, basically, you know, if we hold two victory points in our field, we should be fine. It's kind of cool. This map takes place at night. You see these little lanterns and stuff. So I'm gonna immediately hop my unit into the house here to prevent a an MG. But I should have known. Well, well, we're going against two OKW players, so I should have known that they actually can't get MGs until they set up a headquarters. So MGs will be delayed for them. But they do have the Koopa Wagons, which are which can be quite deadly. They did hop into this church, so. Oh, those are dead. Wow, those are dead guys outside. I didn't even notice that. So in light cover like this, I should be able to do some decent damage, even with a rear echelon squad against this Kubelwagen and push him back. I've gone for one of my new favorite doctrines. Well, it's not a new. I mean, I've been using Rival Company for a long time, but it just allows the easy eight flamethrowers and then white phosphorus is excellent, especially on OKW positions here. So I, I'm all, you know, he wants to go around this side. I will happily shoot him with five windows on this side of the house here. I only have uh, two windows on this side, though, to shoot from. You got my guys behind cover here, and I bet with my rifleman coming in and the fire from the church or the house here that we should be able to push these guys back. They're just, too, they're just outnumbered too heavily here. So center's being held. They're holding this point, which this church, which isn't really have any significance. And this is our cutoff right here, so they could always be able to cut off our fuel. That's the way the map is designed. These are the two cutoffs. So, actually, if you look at in the south, it's a lot easier to cut off your opponent's fuel than in the north, because in the north, you would need to, I guess you could take the victory point away. That's the, that's the way to cut off their fuel. So I can, of course, hear cars and kubels, and I know more are going to be coming, and that's not that doesn't worry me too much. I'm going to build a fighting position, kind of entrench the center victory point here. And my opponent is up here. His name is Weed La Weed. And Mandalorian, that is a Star Wars reference to the Mandalorian Warriors. I wish Jango Fett was probably one of the more famous ones. And now with the nice MG here and the conscripts and the point is doing quite well doing some real damage and now he's also blocked off the retreat for the Kupelwagen. The Kupelwagen is going to try to go through this little fence here. Got a rifle squad waiting for orders. Oh, he just He's going to hop in the house there though. And what's funny, what's kind of weird these houses all lined up is that this is one full house here and his machine gun can shoot right into that house apparently. And just start ripping, look, he's like ripping into these units here. And I'm just going to keep shooting and try to get this Koopal dead here. It's so close to dying, but I have to fall back. It's very unfortunate. I'm very low health here, and I'm lucky to, we're lucky to go with my unit if I, if I did, which I managed to do. So machine guns out here. I've gone for a lieutenant. I'm going to get another machine gun to help fortify the center further. And yeah, it's so weird how the machine guns like right here just shredding the units in the house next to them. Now the church is going to fall soon, and there it goes. Yeah, you do not want to take this fight against 10 conscripts. Okay, now it's a little more even of a fight here. Look at how fast those guys just shredded, though, right through those conscripts. Like, what is that, six right there, and, and they lost one man? So I'm feeling pretty good about the center right now. I know I need to want to start pushing up north, maybe harassing their field, because... They're certainly going after uh, my victory. Well, my point over here. <laughs> Where art thou? Shakespearean language here. HMG squad, 
Second HMG out. Oh, first HMG out. I'm really actually liking the US 50 cal. It also has the armor piercing rounds, just like the Wehrmacht when they get upgraded with their MG42. So, that's pretty nice. So, I'm going to take this point here from my opponent. And the point is going to further fortify down south. There's all the barbed wire. I'm assuming, I'm assuming he's going to put some down some mines. And yeah, I don't mind taking a fight like this when we're, we're grouped up here. I actually managed to wipe out that spine. He's going to retreat. So that's okay with me. I do need an ambulance up, up front, though, so I can reinforce quickly at the front lines here. So here's interesting. You, you you rarely see people actually put these in the anti-tank in a building. But they can be used for that. Actually a little better when you hide them like you make them go to their special ability camo. So I'm driving right to the north here. I have a machine gun facing this way, a machine gun covering his back. The conscripts are real for Napoleon here. We look at Napoleon's doctor. He went for the tank hunter tactics. Yep, we're still checking tank hunter tactics. <laughs> and there you go. He also has the the anti-tank grenade assault here. One that's really good is the anti-tank bombing run. This thing is very very expensive, but once you lay that down, I'll be attacked here. Once you lay that down, it will it will basically almost completely wipe out a an OKW headquarters, even if it's at full strength. So I forced my opponent to move his machine gun. I did decap the north and cut off their field. They now have a flat cap check on the field. That is a big problem. Thankfully, I do have a captain coming out on the field right now to uh, get some bazookas and some anti-tank. Right now, we're not getting pressure in the south. I was pressuring them in the north. That's all you really have to do is hold the center, hold the victory point, pressure your opponent's victory point and fuel. I think these guys have been in the house the whole time. They have three kills. And map control is, is in our favor. We're even taking their point over here. This is actually a pretty uncontested point. Maybe you should... I mean, they have units that can just move up and capture it, but maybe even taking more of it. They used to not have, Sewage 2 used to not have points with fuel and munitions on it. These were just standard points you'd capture to link up your fuel. But in a patch, I think a year and a half ago, they added fuel and munitions. So if you were to take, so you're denying your opponent three fuel, which is half of the major fuel, because the fuel is seven. So you'd be basically denying your opponent half of what a regular fuel point is by taking this. That's why map control is critical. If you don't have map control, your opponents get a lot. Look at this flat cap track here. I do like that skin though. That is a pretty cool skin. I have that too. I can't remember if they gave that to us or they bought it or to buy it. And I'm saving up for the easy eights, which I cannot unlock yet because it's only mids in the game. So our opponent also has a Luke's Mandalorian here. And this could be quite dangerous, actually. -tank gun, ready for action. My opponent knows he's gonna, he knows I'm around here. And he's probably gonna go right towards my defenses, try to. Here's the thing about this, though. If I hop out and I, that was lucky. I can't. Like my unit got stuck here, and it's gonna get wiped out. So those guys died. And the instant suppression. So I'm going like, okay, we're in trouble. We're in trouble here. This is exactly what you want to do with the Luke's. You need to get. Her. I can't. I'm too close to him, so I can't get my my uh, anti tank grenade off here. Anti tank rifle grenade. He backs away though. That's what I'm gonna get him. His engine is damaged now. He's in real trouble. Captain's coming out here. I'm gonna pull this unit back. That's where my ambulance is. His Luke's is almost down. And he has units. I need to take this out. I don't care if I lose my captain. And I hit him with the AT gun, so. And look at all the anti-tank rifle grenades. PTRS is out. 
I still see? Yeah, this is what the PTRS is for the conscripts. Usually I would say the Russians have nothing on the OKW. The OKW are pretty much better than the Russians at all all things, but when the Russians are using these ant this special anti tank Oh my guess I'm gonna name it. The tank hunter tactics, it's actually gonna be quite good against them. My opponent set up his machine gun, that was a mistake, I was able to kinda get around it before he set up here. And keep in mind, I do have flamethrowers with my my rear echelon, so they can they can move up and take out this anti tank in here that's shooting at me. Six kills on the fifty cal right there. We have a Oh, he does not want to engage these guys. Look at all the AT Let's see my AT gun right there and all the anti tank rifles. Ooh. Close. And our opponent has his headquarters right here, so it's I don't like the placement of that just because I feel like it's right in the open. I would really recommend uh, either placing it right here behind the tree spread from artillery or like over here. It's like don't put it right in the open because an AT gun or some tanks can move up and just snipe it from that exposed position it's in. And it seems like he has a lot of... I don't understand the upgrades currently with all the anti-tank on his units because He's not seen any kind of vehicles from us. It's been a big infantry fight, and having that that Panzer Shrek with his units is actually going to hurt him in, in combat there. So my guys just wiped out that that AT, and once again I'm taking the fuel from the north here. So it's quite frustrating for my opponents. Uh, the fuel has now once again been taken. No pressure in the south here. There's very little forces down here actually, even though there's a, a clear road to the fuel. So Poland was saying, and I kind of agree with him, this would be a really good 3v3 map. So you'd have one person in each sector. I was going to go my AT to try to, uh... I was going to go my AT to try to take out this headquarters here, but I had to fall back. Unfortunately, I'm going to go right through the flames here. You also have some nice little, a nice little sandbag defense here. I will, of course, move up when I need, but... Me about when I can, but I'm currently suppressing these units here. It's a mirror. This AT gun look really small for a 57 millimeter. I, don't, I hardly ever use the US uh, AT guns actually. I mostly skip the tanks. So Herr Mayor is coming out, and we're gonna get a Easy Eight. Now they're a little more expensive, but they do have a great gun on them. And this thing, I do not like that thing. You can see where we are for Stukasifuses. Speaking of Stukasifus, I believe they are building one currently, which is what they're doing. Okay, so I need to. I'm gonna move up my headquarters now that I have. Well, my my headquarters. I'm gonna currently move up my ambulance as my major is coming out here. Just get my. I can actually heal my units from here, which is awesome. And just reinforce when I need at the front here. And Napoleon. Whoop, we have a half track up here. Look how fast my health went down there. When this thing is set up, quite dead. He's going to hop in this house again. He really just needs a machine gun, to be honest, in that house. Then again, though, we have tanks and their fuel, so let's see how much fuel they're getting here. Yeah, 16 versus 35. I don't like those odds. Because now our superiority on the map control right now. I'm going to try to move here. I actually managed to dodge most of that. I had my units right here, you saw. So I didn't lose my machine gun crew, unfortunately. But we can reman that. Especially because we have the ambulance so close. So still no units have... There's no reason why you should not have hopped this unit out of the building and taken the fuel right here. And we have the Easy 8 with the Tiger Shark. A camo on it. Love it. 
Oh, well there goes his half track. He's trying to set up. White Phosphorus going down just to injure, slow down enemies and, and suck away their health here. They're throwing like multiple fire, three fire grenades on my machine gun here. Who man somehow managed to run away. This is going to be our big attack here. We're going to go right into this, this half track. I'm going to start targeting the half track right here. So that's now a dead so I can stop suppressing my units here. He's going to retreat back to his headquarters here. Another unit wiped out. This wreck, unfortunately, is blocking the view of my of my units here. It looks like that, that was a dud there. So now we run over the wreck. We're going to immediately start just destroying this headquarters here. As we're doing this, however, we're losing our fuel in the south. We're still getting 31 fee out. 31 from 38. Now with my manpower, I could start laying down some fuel caches. That would be probably a good idea. But we now wiped out his headquarters here. Another one's being built here, but we don't see that obviously with the fog of war. And he's going to be in a little bit of trouble up here. My opponent named Weed. But yeah, it looks like the T-34 is just going to run them over. Such a cheap tactic, but it, it works. And just wiping squads. Okay, I'm just going to quickly pause for a second. So, he moved his infrared half track up and was able to actually see my. I realized he could see where my headquarters was. So, I immediately decided to move my headquarters. Oh my, my, my four position here with my major and my ambulance. So, look where these shells are going to fall. I was right here, remember? Whenever you see your headquarters, see how it, you can see see how this thing can see us. Whenever your headquarters can be seen by that, that's why he's going. Hmm. He thought my headquarters is going to be there. As someone who loves to destroy opponents forward, like HQs like this with the United States with the ambulance set up there, like you just have to be aware of that. It goes both ways. And it's going to take a while for him to regroup everything. Is this an MG34? Anyway, I'm gonna call down our I'm gonna call white phosphorus between me and my opponent here. Now, if I knew I would have called it right on them, but I thought they'd move up, but look at this. Yeah, it's T34 is in a little bit of trouble right now. Yeah, not sure. That was just his engine got hit and he got his, his rear armor exposed. So you have to be careful with those flax. You have to be careful with your infantry that it costs a lot of munitions to actually fund those units. Anyway, he, he's pushing back in the south here. He laid down some mines, but they killed a couple constructs so not enough. So he's done some real damage. He's now calling in his, his bombing run here, basically. And look at this. Almost wiped out that headquarters there. White Phosphorus is going down also. And now the red player cannot get any tanks on the field here. He can get a King Tiger, maybe. He had built that third headquarters, which he has not. So it's hurting. It's definitely hurting the red player right now. He has no headquarters. Can we switch order? He has no headquarters on the field. He can just make basic units here. I don't even know if it's worth going for the the Yog Tiger or the King Tiger because he he'd have to build another headquarters and he doesn't have. I was going after him. He doesn't have the <laughs> the fuel because once again, look, we're at 41 fuel right now. We're about to go up to 48 once I capture this fuel here. They're, They've let their fuel go. We're, we have complete map control right now. I mean, they have very few territory here. Few territories. They only have three strategic territories that are, don't have any resources on them. It's only a matter of time, and I have two EZ-8s on the field here. 
And all my infantry is uh, getting into position. Now, I could have upgraded. I could have unlocked the weapons rock and got a bunch of BARs, which would have, which would have been good. See how we can see my units at infrared hack track there? Oh, that's not smart. Okay, good. He hopped out of there. And there goes that building. So as he's doing that, they're making a little bit of a push up north here. Yeah, we also have both munitions, which is funding those strikes also. <laughs> he's now starting to use the officer. Which can be quite good, actually. And Napoleon's going to be that guy that <laughs> runs into the enemy base. Here's what I think he's actually doing. I think he's actually just going after the headquarters buildings. Calling, I'm calling down white phosphorus on these just to slow them down. So as Napoleon is aggressively doing this, I'm moving in with my tanks trying to take out the Stiga Supus here. Look how much damage it does to that headquarters right there. It is almost dead. So he has been stunned here, and this is a very bad thing for him. As I start to chase with my my easy eight here, and look at that main gun! Oh come on, like that should have been dead on that shot there. So that was the match. I hope you guys enjoyed it on this kind of community spotlight map. There's the kills and deaths. Napoleon got a lot more kills than I did, that's for sure. But that's basically how you play this map. You have to really control most of it and. And when you find the OKW, remember this is a very good, as the Russians, a very good um, commander to counter them with. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode. God for my 221, signing off.